What is happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fleet Friday. Today, guess what department we're doing? We're doing ADOT, okay? AO, Department of Tra uh, Transportation, or DOT. So this is ADOT. We're at their station right now, as you can see. This is their station. That's their cars. They spawn it right there. Um, this is the traffic board um, unit, as you can see. And uh, that unit's going to go, and they're pretty much, I think, responding to an incident um, somewhere. So we're going to let them go ahead and uh, respond to their incident. While they do that, <laughs> and he's going off-road. While they do that, we're going to look at that traffic board one. So they're, they're, they have three variants of this vehicle. They have the traffic board. They have a regular one. Okay, the siren is not him. These don't have sirens. I'll show you guys the controls for them. It's different from the police controls. So let me give you guys a tour of what ADOT does have and what it, they don't have. They have an interesting push bar, as you can see. This push bar is the one that's different. This is utilized for pushing vehicles out of the road. Um, just like real life, uh, they have these push bars. Uh, this is usually used to like push vehicles out of the way um, and uh, so that the traffic can be cleared, usually in an accident or something like that. In the back, you have um, the traffic board, you have a, a tire and a couple of cones. Um, and then you also have the uh, more lights, um, the traffic, um, a massive traffic board, as you can see right there. And uh, yep, that's pretty much the outside look. The inside, they have a computer right now. Um, their computer system is not set up yet. We're still scripting it for them so they can have incident reports, traffic reports, all that good stuff. Um, so we're working with their high comm and this is the look inside the vehicle, as you can see. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, explore. They do have access to this, um, access to all this stuff, um, but, oh, he's back. They don't have a siren, so they're responding to a call, as you can see, a possible 911 call. Uh, my car tire popped, skid crashed on the barrier reef, freeway near the CD. So there's a person that's in the freeway with their car, uh, their tires popped, so they're going to go fix that problem. And that person usually called them through the 911 system. Um, but we're going to go ahead and give you the tour of the vehicle. So let's turn off everything. This is the vehicle, normal. Um, it's a F-150. Um, it is uh, lifted at the moment, like minor lifted. Um, this is the look of it on the top. Um, it's pretty bright and it gets the job done. They have this distinct look. They don't have their logo on it yet. We're still making a, a livery for them. Um, but it's going to be a simple livery with their department logo. Um, and a spot that says a dot. Um, so this is their control system. Okay, It's super simple. And it works for them. It's super simple. It's not the the one with the law enforcement one. This is how it is usually in real life. They have this on the inside of the vehicle, but because you know nobody wants to zoom in and start looking for this button, we have them in a GUI format. So right now everything is off. We're gonna pretty much start going down the list for them. So first is one. So for one, this is if you're behind the vehicle and you don't want, um, there's no reason to turn on your front. So you pretty much turn on your back. So you turn on your back, it turns on your back ELS as you can see right there, um, and your sides. Um, so it tells the traffic that, you know, at, like each side and the back, it lets them know, hey, this unit is there, like watch out. After you turn on one, you usually turn on your flasher, either telling people to go each both directions or you're telling them to go left or right and or split. Um, next up is two, pattern two, you start having front start blinking in. This is usually when um, you're letting the person like usually know like you know help is coming or whatever like that or um, you're at an intersection where the cars are oncoming or anything like that you pretty much utilize this and then there's three where when you're responding to an incident or and you're trying to get cars to clear out of your way um, you can utilize it and letting people know they do have strobe lights the front they do strobe and the back as well they do have that and all the lights start going nuts and it starts going super fast. That is that. Pattern three. So you utilize this usually when you're responding to a scene, like for example, that person that called 911, um, the, they pretty much cleared that vehicle right now. You respond to that scene using that one. So that's that. Next up, of course, they do utilize the daytime running lights. Of course, if you have it in three or two, you also have your bumpers that do light up. 
the sides also light up and the top lights up pretty much as you can see right there so front you have the side letting people know you know there's somebody there and the top now of course these back ones they don't um, light up because there's no purpose for them to light up they're not going to light up the side of the thing so only the fronts because we want to go for that's usually how it is in real life now if this board didn't exist there's another model that they do have where the board doesn't exist the back uh, lights up um, and they get their government pay of course now they there was a time where they weren't getting any pay and they were really mad and they protested now they do get a pay um, so next up after that is your horn so they do have that horn and they have the regular horn so this horn and this horn both of them so next up is the left alley when they want to light up the left alley right there um, when they want to light up the right alley right there and for takedowns they also have that as well for night um, now the takedowns is pretty uh, pretty genius if you ask me it utilizes this one and it also utilizes the push bar to basically light up the scene and it's pretty bright so you see the push bar one and also the the top bar um, now people are wondering how does it work in conjunction with the ELS this is what happens here here's an example I'm gonna go code 3 and then I'm going to turn on the takedowns. You see that? So it takes over the these lights. So now they're not going to be blinking. Same goes for the right and left alley. It like pretty much overrides the ELS. But if you turn it off, it the ELS doesn't blink no more and it goes back to um, blinking pretty much. And uh, just like that, I mean, it's super simple. When you're done with it, you can just turn it off. With that, you're done. Um, in the next update, they're getting a couple of updates. They're getting their own computer system um, so that they can report, write reports on the vehicles that they did fix. They can write incident reports, issues that they had. They also have a bus. I'll do the bus video. I think you guys have seen the bus video. Uh, you'll see Saturday, a sneak peek of the bus, but I'll do another video on that one. But in the future coming updates, they're going to be have access to their these, these little things so they can get out cones. They also have a tape, as you can see. So let me show you the tape. So this is what they have so you see that little tape you can pretty much close off a road um, it, show, it shows do not cross Department of Transportation so that's the tape that they do have when they're done with it they can just remove it just like that um, so this tape can be utilized anywhere usually to close off a road um, oops so to close off a road you pretty much do that and it closes off that road for the tape um, and then when you're done with it, you just remove it just like that. They'll also get other tools like the tire pump. They'll be getting a tow. Um, they also, these models will start having soon a winch that they can use to pull vehicles off a ditch. So they'll have a winch right here. That update's not coming. It's coming out soon where you click on the winch and then you click on the vehicle and then you go back inside the car and you start pulling the car towards you. This is just to recover a car that rolled over, like nothing that requires a, um, um, a tow truck, but if it requires a tow truck then the tow truck upgrade is coming down down the road but these vehicles will have a winch so some vehicles that do get stuck in like off-road or something like that they could come and their trucks are pretty powerful um we're gonna go ahead and uh, go off-road a little bit um this area is too steep but usually when it's not too steep like the the park you can uh go off-road on it like as you can see right there a regular car would get stuck in here easily but they can't and uh this is their setup uh let's see if i could get unstuck you know it'd be funny if uh dot calls another dot for backup because he got stuck there you go i got it unstuck but uh yeah so usually you can recover any car from anywhere no problem um and that's pretty much how they roll pretty much as you can see that's their style this is pretty much how they roll um they could respond to any scene anytime wherever they're needed um with no problems um and of course if the area is dark they can they always have their takedowns to bright it up the right alley the left alley and just like that they just go through an area and start pretty like you know they do what they have to do somebody needs rescuing they take care of it 
um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you guys are feeling awesome make sure to like this video of this week's fleet friday um and of course we have fd coming up we also have rangers coming up I mean, we got a lot of departments that are coming up that i still got a video on but yeah stay tuned deuces